A dignified exit it was not. Benjamin Netanyahu's allies expelled from the Knesset one after the other for bad behavior during the debate. The man himself insisting he won't be gone long. We'll be back. The incoming Prime Minister, Naftali Bennett, is a particularly hard pill for many Netanyahu supporters to swallow. A former Netanyahu aide, he's seen as betraying his right-wing nationalist base by joining hands with Yair Lapid, the centrist politician behind an extremely broad coalition government, including, for the first time, a Palestinian Arab-Israeli party. They have little in common, says analyst Gail Talshir, beyond their desire to usher Netanyahu out after 12 years in power. It's not just Netanyahu the person, but the kind of politics that uh, Netanyahu brought uh, with the, the incitement and the hate speech and uh, the uh, divide and rule between the different uh, groups and sectors in uh, Israeli society. Israel has seen four elections over the past two years, a reflection of a society not just divided, but fractured into many parts. I don't know somebody better than Netanyahu. You know, anyone will be better than this corrupted man there that destroy Israel for pieces. Israelis say political stalemate has meant many issues have simply been ignored like transportation, health, education. But some issues, including the elephant in the room, the Israeli occupation, are to be avoided, according to coalition leaders, if they want their government to survive. Pro-settlement Bennett, for example, doesn't believe in an independent Palestinian state, unlike some of his partners. Whether they can avoid those issues, though, isn't a given. The majority they hold is not much more than a sliver. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.